Lake Mead, the colossal reservoir on the Colorado River, continues to grapple with historically low water levels. As of July 2, 2024, the lake sits at 1,062.53 feet above sea level MSL. This is a critical update, offering a glimpse into the lake's current health and highlighting the ongoing water crisis in the American West. For context, Lake Mead's full pool elevation is 1,229.00 feet MSL. The current level indicates the lake is a staggering 166.47 feet below capacity. This decline represents a loss of over 23% of the reservoir's total water storage. Prior to 2000, Lake Mead maintained a healthy water level, hovering around 1,200 feet above sea level. However, the grip of a persistent mega drought intensified in the early 21st century, significantly reducing Colorado River inflows. Coupled with rising water demands from a growing population, the imbalance between supply and demand triggered a dramatic decline. By July 2022, Lake Mead reached a historic low of approximately 1,040 feet, exposing vast swathes of the lake bed and revealing long submerged remnants of the past. The Bureau of Reclamation, a federal agency responsible for managing water resources in the Western United States, periodically releases water level forecasts. Their most recent 24-month study, published in May 2024, offered a cautiously optimistic outlook for July 2024. Two primary scenarios were presented. One, this optimistic scenario assumes above average snowpack in the Colorado River Basin headwaters, translating to increased river flows. Under this scenario, Lake Mead could potentially reach a level of 1,065 feet by July's end. Two, this more realistic scenario anticipates average or slightly below average snowpack and river inflows. It predicts a water level of approximately 1,060 feet for Lake Mead in July 2024. The accuracy of these predictions hinges on several critical factors. Above average winter snowfall in the Rocky Mountains translates to higher Colorado River flows during spring and summer. Conversely, continued dry conditions will exacerbate water shortages. Releases from upstream reservoirs like Lake Powell significantly impact Lake Mead's water levels. Balancing water needs for various states and sectors is a complex challenge, further influenced by drought declarations and water shortage tiers. Warmer temperatures and increased wind speeds accelerate water loss through evaporation. Climate change projections suggest these factors will likely play a more significant role in the future. The story of Lake Mead's decline is intricately linked to the history of water management in the Colorado River Basin. The construction of Hoover Dam in the 1930s marked a significant turning point. The dam's primary purpose was to generate hydropower, control flooding, and provide irrigation water for the burgeoning agricultural sector. However, the initial water allocation agreements established in the 1920s were based on historical data, a period of relatively high river flow. These agreements did not account for the significant population growth and increased water demands that would occur throughout the 20th and 21st centuries. As a result, the Colorado River system became increasingly over-allocated, with water diversions exceeding the natural flow of the river. Successive droughts throughout the latter half of the 20th century further exacerbated the imbalance. By the late 1990s, concerns about declining water levels prompted the implementation of various water shortage contingency plans. These plans outlined progressive cutbacks for water use across the basin states depending on the severity of the situation. If you found this video informative, please subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and share it with anyone who might be interested. Thank you.